Get ready to take your images to the next level. Photoshop's AI generative fill tool is a game changer. Pair it with a powerful AI image generator like Midjourney, and you've got a supercharged power pair. Your images will never be the same. In this video, I'll show you how to get started with Photoshop's generative fill tool. It's super new and just out for beta testing. I'll guide you step-by-step -step on how to master generative fill. It's so easy. You think your mid-journey images are good, just wait till you take control of the content with generative fill. Change the details or expand the image into a whole new world. Photoshop makes that happen. When mid-journey meets Photoshop, the result is an artistic explosion. Photoshop already includes many AI tools like Content-Aware Fill and Sky Replacement, but Generative Fill takes AI image editing to the next level. You can now prompt for content. Generative Fill is a new tool in Photoshop Beta that is basically in-painting and out-painting all rolled into one. The web has been going crazy, giving the Mona Lisa legs, changing backgrounds, and redressing models. In-painting and out-painting aren't new to AI image generation. In-painting is replacing unwanted elements in your image with new AI-generated content. Out-painting is expanding an image with new AI-generated content. These are just the tools we've been waiting for in Midjourney. The Midjourney team sometimes talks about a new feature that could expand the frame, giving us that extra space we crave around our favorite close-up shots. But we've yet to see it in action. Generative fill to the rescue. Let's see how Photoshop handles Midjourney images. In one of my first videos on this channel, I used Dali's in-painting and out-painting tools to tweak Midjourney images, but the styles just didn't gel. You could totally spot where Midjourney ended and Dali began. Can Photoshop handle the style better? When I recorded this video, Generative Fill was only available in Photoshop Beta. If you're new to Photoshop Beta, no worries, it's a breeze to install. Just open your Creative Cloud app, Scroll down to the Beta app section, find Photoshop Beta, and hit Install. It'll sit comfortably next to your regular Photoshop. To get Photoshop Beta, you need Photoshop already installed. If you don't have it, there's no better time than now to jump in. I've been using Adobe's Creative Cloud Photography Plan for years. It comes with Lightroom, which is fantastic for organizing and editing AI images, and of course, Photoshop a powerhouse in image editing and creation. I regularly use these tools to fine tune both my photos and my AI images. Want to elevate your image editing game? Check out the affiliate links in the description below. If you don't have Photoshop, don't worry. Adobe added generative fill to their AI image generator, Firefly. I'll cover this in a follow-up video. Let's start with some outpainting. I love this portrait but Midjourney loves to crop in tight, really tight. Many creators ask me how to prompt for full body shots in Midjourney. It's a common problem Midjourney creators face. Let's see if Photoshop can fix it and if it's easy enough to do. Open the image you want to edit in Photoshop Beta. Make sure you're in Beta and not in regular Photoshop. Expand your frame by changing the canvas size or use the crop tool and drag out the edges. Select the area that you want to change. In this case, the white margins. I'll use the Marquee tool, but Photoshop has many selection tools. Make the area slightly larger than you want to fill. Hold the Shift key to add to your selection. Click the Generative Fill button. Now describe what you'd like to see in the prompt box, or leave the box blank to see what Photoshop comes up with on its own. Notice the toolbar changes when nothing is selected. Click Generate. You will get three variations to choose from. Click the one you like the best. Click Generate again if you don't like the options. The generated content is on a new layer. You can turn it on and off. The AI generations are in the Properties panel. I like that Photoshop keeps all the variations in one place. Each selection and generation sequence creates a new layer. Does it work every time? No, sometimes the results are really bizarre. Just delete these and move on. 
The generation is fast and easy so you can try again and again. Outpainting lets you expand your image beyond the frame, but inpainting lets you change the details within the frame. Let's move to this Baroque library that I created in Midjourney version 5. I've already expanded the room, so let's work on the interior details. Select the area that you want to change. You can use the lasso tool, quick selection, or any selection tool that makes sense, including AI object selection. It's not much of a library without more books. Watch as I select the blank wall and ask for old wooden shelves filled with rare books. Pretty cool, huh? I can add objects like a chair or a painting on the wall, or I can remove objects like the extra railing on the stairs. Here's the magic. Just select and type what you want to see, or leave the prompt box blank and let Photoshop fill in the space with something that goes with the rest of the image. Not vibing with the result? It's all good. You can always rerun the AI generation. See this library ladder? Mm, yeah, it's not working for me either. Here's the beauty of Photoshop Generative Fill. You can jump back to any generation layer and change it. Just select the generation layer, hit Properties, and voila! The versions that you've created are right there. Flip through them and you get a recap of the prompts that you've used. I'll try another prompt here and let's see what we get. Not satisfied? Disable the layer and make a new selection. This will create a brand new layer. Generative Fill keeps your original image untouched. All the AI tweaks are safely stowed in individual layers. You can expand your image without painting change the details with in-painting, and you can also make big changes really fast, like changing the background. Select the subject using the Subject Selection tool, then invert the selection. This selects the background. It doesn't matter how much of your image is selected, you may be replacing 95% of your image. Now type what you want to see instead. It's really that easy. I've worked with a lot of photos or photo-like images so far. Let's work with something a little bit more artistic. Can Photoshop match the style? Let me expand this image. I'm looking for Photoshop to catch on to the style of the image. In your prompt, you can be very specific or very simple. I'm going to just leave the prompt box blank to see what Photoshop comes up with. It looks like Photoshop handled the artistic style just fine. So there's a lot to like about Photoshop's new generative fill tool, but it doesn't work perfectly every time. Sometimes the results are a little off. They may seem out of place or sometimes even comical. In painting sometimes doesn't match the overall style or lighting of the image. But I didn't really mind so much. The tool is so quick and lets you try different prompts and experiment with a lot of different variations in a short amount of time. I did stumble across the not safe for work filter a few times, even when I wasn't asking for anything risque, or even when my prompt box was blank. I wonder what the AI had in mind, a body in the library, an S&M dog collar, I don't know. It's interesting to see where the AI's mind wanders. And occasionally the AI would throw in an unexpected element, like a surprise gift you didn't ask for. Despite some quirks, Photoshop's generative fill tool is definitely worth the hype. I can't wait until Adobe upgrades the tool from beta into the mainstream version of Photoshop. With Photoshop's generative fill tool, AI is moving into the mainstream image generation community. It's a natural extension of Photoshop's content-aware fill tool. Don't get left behind. This new tool will have you getting your every wish. It's not what's in the image, it's what you imagine in the image that's important. Generative AI lets you create anything you can imagine. Reality is no longer a limiting factor.
Let us know your top tips for using Photoshop's generative fill tool in the comments below. If this video is helpful, remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel. This is Jen at Making the Photo. Let's make something amazing together.